another Sunday, another round of three questions, and another round of three answers from yours truly. Let's kick things off with question one. And it's from William Jeffrey. How are you doing? Well, MJ, having seen the latest Transformers movie on DVD, I was wondering what your thoughts on are on it and what you think the future holds for it. Thought Michael Bay was done making it, and is it just me or does it this one feel like it was rushed a little? I thought Transformers 4, I think they got it right. Transformers 3 was a huge improvement over Revenge of the Fallen, but I felt like they focused more on the Autobots versus Decepticon battle, and there was much less questionable humor and less, you know, interaction from the human cast, which I thought was decent. You actually see, like, the the robots having conversations with each other, which they didn't really expand enough upon in the, in the, pre, in the three previous movies. I don't think it felt rushed. I think everything was ironed out to where it needed to be. Um, I think it's probably going to take them back to Cybertron just as, you know, at, with the ending of, um, of Transformers 4 with Prime blasting off into space. It does look as though there's trouble ahead up on the home planet. Alright, question two. What are your thoughts on Gotham as a TV series? I love it. A lot of fans have been kind of po-poing it, saying, you know, it's very stale acting and they're kind of not treating the characters as they should be, but I take it for what it is at face value. I mean, for something that's meant to be focusing on Jim Gordon, it's basically like taking Batman Year One, but completely you know, making it bigger and just allowing Jim Gordon to be the center of the universe in that one because it's actually just sort of refreshing just to sort of be given a better understanding of that character and not have something that's just all about Batman. So I really enjoy it. Um, people are entitled to their opinions about what they think of the show. I'm going to have to agree to disagree and the reveal of the Joker uh, last week in the UK but that guy's creepy. <laughs> I just took one look and I'm like, stop that. Stop that right now. <laughs> I loved it. Question three. I hope I'm reading this right. Do you think Jeff Tracy will show up in the new Thunderbird series at the end of season one or season two? From what I've been hearing from various different reports on The Wire is that one interviewer on a radio station from New Zealand, because uh, I was hearing this on the Facebook a while back, apparently he's supposed to be showing up at the end of season one or beginning of season two, but now ITV have said he's not going to be in it for the first two seasons, which would suggest Thunderbirds are go is going to go into a third season, which the original Thunderbirds never did. So, I don't know. I want to see Jeff Tracy come back, but I like what the series is doing by allowing the brothers to be like, instead of thinking about what their dad tells them to do, they're thinking, what would dad do? You know, I kind of like that. And that's been your round of three questions for this week. You know the routine by now. Leave a question in the comment section below, over at my Twitter link, or if you're watching this over on dynamicnight.com, leave a question in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. Until then, ask again.